Hey, they did it again eh. What? They've added a sticky note with our name on it and this time they've even added value cap underneath. So I feel like a million bucks bro. You see this guy? We only have 5,000 subscribers but he's behaving like we have a million! A man can only dream, right? Look at Shah. He has skinny chicken legs but he still hits the gym every day religiously. Oi, oi, oi! Okay, okay, okay. Chillax, chillax. Unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. 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 Hey guys, I'm Shane and this is Shah. And we're from Mob House Production. Some say unboxing is pretty much a complete waste of time. Wow, who are? God lah, somebody. Try going to a random PC enthusiast's house and you'll see a ton of boxes. That's so true. I can barely walk around in my own house. Yeah! But if you still think that unboxing is a complete waste of time, you can't sit with us. You most definitely cannot because this is a two-seater and we can only fit two people. Well, it rhymes. Anyways, we'll be doing a very special unboxing for you guys today because AMD just dropped us a very special care package. More specifically, two care packages. One big and one small. But the bigger question is, which one should we unbox first? You did say bigger, right? Just open this one? No, I didn't say anything. Then how? One to juice. Okay, one to juice. One to juice. One Don't to juice. Don't one you? to juice. <laughs> Loser. You know what? Fine. Let's put the small one aside and let's have a look at the big one. Because size definitely matters. Fine. The steady bro is not very steady today. He didn't bring his camera so we can't have a top-down view of this. We're gonna have to do the unboxing like this. Why you like this, steady bro? Why you like this? Okay, let's crack it open. Okay, first you gotta take this off mm -hmm. and put it here. Let's just put it here, lah. Just to see. All right. Hey, you open it. One, two, three. Oh, I gotta give it to AMD. Their graphics have been pretty Super awesome nice. lately. Uh, all it says is bring your imagination to life. The second generation of Ryzen, the intelligent processor. Sounds oh, cool. Nice, nice font nice too. Let's take it up. Ah, yeah. so what we have here? Wow. It's motherboards. I think there are two, two motherboards. motherboards. Two. One motherboard for you. Aha. One motherboard, motherboard for me. I feel like Opera. So this is the Aorus X470 Gaming 7 Wi-Fi. And this is the MSI X470 Gaming M7AC motherboard. Cool. But before that, so, there's something inside there as well. What else is inside? That's the... RAM! And more paper! RAM. So this is the RAM. Can you see the RAM? So it's the G-Skill Sniper X RAM. Should Joshua. we take out the RAM first? Wait, let me see if there's anything. No lah, don't dust. Nice. Okay. Uh, but it looks pretty awesome. It's nice lah. It, it runs away from the typical color. Oh wow, no RGB. That's no good. RGB? That's a first. Okay, that's not the first, sorry. I kind of like this um, textured finish. It's different lah, you know, you always have that RGB style uh, from G-Skill. So, something a bit more different for those of you who don't like anything too bright and, we have and colorful. white camo. Yeah. So, really awesome for like military-inspired rigs. Them it's uh, rated 3400. Mm -hmm. um, this is a 16 gig kit. So 3400? 3400. It's 3400. Eh? Yeah, that's pretty unusual. That's so, 3400. Let's see if we can run it as fast as possible on this platform. It smells new too. Okay, good. Okay, next. All right. So then we put this aside. Okay. Let's open the MSI first or together. No, let's do it together. Okay. Ta -da! <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we open. Uh, open the motherboard. So let me put this aside for a while. What we're more interested in is the layout and the design. The layout's pretty seamless. Have you noticed something, Shane? Have you also noticed that most motherboards today, especially the current gen or newer ones, mm -hmm. have very little uh, color tint, any sort of color stickers on it. Coloration. Yeah. Because they, they want to adhere to the more RGB. RGB so volume. you get to customize things yourself. Or if you don't like it, you can turn everything off and it's much cleaner. I kind of like this um, black and... It's that matte-ish finish. Mm. And, it, and it's kind of good as well because what I realized... Was Different the, shades of grey. Yeah. 50 shades of grey. Nice contrast as well. The gaming M7 here. Mm. Uh, it's still the whole audio boost, you know, the usual stuff. But what's a bit different is this thing down here. This is the M.2. It's kind of unusual because usually they come like with separate shields. If you want to take out one, you have to uh, screw oh, off. I think, no, if you turn inside, look, it's spring, it's like a door. You don't have to take off, you just open these two No, screws. but you still have to un yeah, unscrew yeah. two screws yeah. in order to change one. You win some, you lose some, I guess. 
But I kind of like the fact that it's attached to the, yeah. the board so you don't have to fiddle yep. around with it. Correct. I think this, this is an improvement over the older. Even the RAM issue. records are reinforced now. That's pretty cool actually. Yeah. That's mm. really nice. So let's have a look at mine. Uh, what's really unique is besides, I'm not sure if you guys are, are fans of orange. You should turn around so you can yeah. see it better. So I'm not sure you guys are fans of um, orange, but I like it because it's a bit more different. Uh, yeah, usually I don't yeah. like colors on motherboard these days, but this orange is pretty good. Uh, pretty nice when it's, it's matched not, with the it, black. It's not that cheap looking orange. And then there are two and two slots here. So very similar to that, but this, this one, uh, is it like an actual heat sink? Yeah, I think it is. It is a heat sink. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I think it's aluminum. Yeah. I don't think it's plastic. So you put your embers through that. But what's really different compared to any other motherboards I've seen, the Auris, uh, they are I.O. plate. Oh, it's attached, attached to it's attached. the motherboard. So you don't have to like risk losing your I.O. plate. Um, you got a nice uh, to tell. There's a back plate, like a tiny back plate, but you team, know. Team up, fight on, Shane. How can you? Oh, no, That's why we have two motherboards. That's why he has to. He, he, he sort of figured it out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's take a look at the stars of the show. Let's bring it in. Where is it? It's right there. Yeah. Okay. Five moments later. All right. So here's the little box that I've been looking forward to open. Isn't this the same box that Lisa Su tweeted about? Last ah, week? yes. One week ago. Wow. Exactly. It's a really nice box. Okay, let's crack it let's open. Let's open it up. All right, so we put it nice and gentle, like here. Shane, come on, open it. Oh, look at what came out. What's that? Uh, Ryzen 7 2700X. Flip it around. That's the Ryzen 5 2600X. Wait, are they giving us the RGB stock cooler with the Ryzen? Oh, it, it only comes with the 2700X. Right, see, what, what does it say? Uh, so this the, is the normal the 2600X one. The 2600X doesn't come with any RGB. That's perfectly fine. But I, I kind of like this one as well. I had this the last time and a lot of people asked about it. There were lots of raving reviews about it. Yeah, they, yeah it's super it, low it looks really nice for a stock cooler. I mean, I'm going to take the 5. I'm gonna take the seven. Because I'm grateful. And I'm the boss. All right, so let's open it up. Let's open it up. Nice yeah. and quick. So we have some keys here. Because we're not professional unboxers. Yeah, because some keep saying that unboxing is a complete waste of time. Yeah, I don't know who is that, seriously. Hey. Hey, I'm Pastela. Nice box professional. All right, perfect, smart man. Let's go. Okay, so basically inside the box, you get the usual stuff. And this is just an unboxing video. It's the first time. So. Mm. Wait, what is this? I know. No, open one. Okay, take no. out the CPU first. Ah, the small one here. Oh, it's, it's the same. It's the same lah, but you know, it's it's nice to have something new when you open it up. This this it smells really new too. This is what unboxing is about. Yeah. The the excitement of opening something. It's like Christmas, no Santa Claus. It's like Christmas, like every day. All right, so you have for the Ryzen 5 2600X. Okay. This is a rave spire. Spire. Yeah. Look at how it spires. Spires. It's really nice actually. I have, I have aluminum I, heat yeah. sink. I have the, the exact same one. Do you have this one? The 1600. I have a 1600, 5 1600. Oh, you do have one? Yeah. Okay. My other partner's using it and no complaints at all. We've been using this fan. We're setting Steady Bro up with a 1600. Well. Yeah. But like okay, this. Let me, let me try to open it for you. Lah. You see, guys, let me teach you how to open a box if you like unboxing. First, you do this. You do this on the side here. You find the sweet spot. Ah. You see? Shane, that's how you do it. I only play the toys, I don't do the unboxing. Yeah. Oh, oh so this one is a... This is my first time a looking case at on it. this cooler. It's so nice. Damn. Oh, can we buy this? We can't I, buy I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think you can. Maybe you can? Because it does look like something you can get off the shelf because of the copper heating, uh, heat pipes and everything. And it's much, nice. much bigger. Comparatively speaking, if you look at the height as well, Look, uh, can we get the camera looking here? Can you see? Yeah, so this is a front profile. Let me bring it closer. Is that better? Awesome. Is, is that bokeh? Yeah. Boke. Do you see the boke? Is it the boke? I think this is for you to do the installation. Yeah, the bracket. So you can open and clean the fans. This That's is the, nice. the fan housing. There. This one, you put on like, you know what I said, it's a Hyper 212 Evo. Yeah. You put this on the motherboard, you clip it. That is why I think, I'm pretty sure you can open it. So you even have an adjustment low and high. Dude. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, they have two of those. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, guys, there we go. This is the Ryzen 5 2600X alongside the AMD Wraith Spire Cooler. And we have the Ryzen 7 2700X and the Wraith 
prism cooler that has RGB, so it's cooler. So this has no RGB. So if you thought this video was awesome, please give us a like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below if you have any questions regarding these new processors from AMD, and we'll try to answer your questions as best as we can. The full review is coming out real soon. Pretty much soon after the unboxing one. So please stay tuned to our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more awesome content like this. We'll see you in the next one. Wow, this one. Copycat. What does that mean? Copycat, no? Uh. Because